In this video, you will learn how to take AI slop, something that looks very bad in terms of how it's made, in terms of the content, and even just the basic design gradients and stuff, and how to make it to look basically something premium. That's something that would agency pay 10 to 15,000 of dollars with beautiful icons, with the beautiful typography, with beautiful effect animations and stuff like that. So as you can see, all of this was built with AI, it is lovable and all of this, it is possible nowadays with Gemini 0.3, all, all of this tower effects, I will teach you how to do this, all of this stuff. But yeah, so basically AI does just this slope. If you do not provide any references, if you do not say anything specifically, and just like by doing some techniques, you can make it 10 times better. So let's try from the beginning and let's start by asking AI to build up something. So I'm going to say build a landing page for a, let's say, iPhone reseller, reseller in Indonesia, in, let's say in Ukraine, in Kiev. Yep, Kiev doesn't have a Apple, Apple official store. So let's build a reseller page and let's see what result will we get at first. And this is what we received. This is just one prompt. As you can see, this is pretty bad in terms of colors, in terms of how the whole thing looks like. And more than that, it wouldn't even convert because it don't have anything that would make user convert. Like um, nav bar first is missing, then we are having some issues with the readability here, with the hover effect. So it is not perfect if you want to use it as a as a first draft. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend just going with this, but let's try and do something that will increase the value and the quality of this website 10 times. So I'm going to go to a website called seedsow.com and here I'm just going to find a website that I like. So let's say I like this Google anti-gravity website, which looks pretty cool. So the first thing that I like is the typography here. And this reminds me more Apple style than basically this one that is built. It looks like, I don't know, some corporate agency website doesn't look like SAS kind of stuff but the typography here is very good in terms of what I need so there are two ways how can I bring this typography to lovable the first one I can use the plugin HTML2 design bring it over to Figma so let's say I brought the design over to Figma then I can open the Figma thing the Figma dev mode here and I can just copy this code so to bring it over to Figma, all that I would have to do is to click here on the plugins and there click um, manage plugins. Basically, it will allow me to look for new plugins, Figma, manage plugins, and I would type HTML to design. And here I have this design that I can import straight into Figma just by dragging this icon that I've, uh, I don't remember if I capture selection. Let's just capture like the hero section. So let's now drag it over here. And here I can also change the text if I wanted to. So let's make the background to be white and stuff. And let's just get rid of the logo. Let's, uh, now what I have to do is just open the dev mode, or if you don't have a paid version of Figma, you would just click here and Figma to code, it's another plugin. You'd click Tailwind here and just copy this code that is here. This is the free plugin. So now I can go back to the website and I can just click visual edits here, or I don't even need to do that. I would just wanted to use this style guide and theme. The background has to be black. The colors, the colors have to be black and white. No gradients. Etc. And let's just send it and see what it comes back with. While it creates, let's look at some other options that we can take from this website to our own brand. We have this beautiful animations and this might be tricky to bring it over, but I will show you how you can actually bring the this exact animation into Lovable. This is pretty simple, just to bear with me for a while. We can also update this and animation to lovable as well. So as you can see, I have on this website, I've built something similar when we have a fixed crawling animation while the, the, the thing loading. So we can do something that as well. Uh, this is pretty easy as well. We have this slider animation that can be done as well. So, but I, what I'm interested in also is bringing this actual background. This is not very useful to bring the exact background, but is it is nice if you wanted to 
to bring it, I don't recommend you to copy this exact background. So for demo version, I will copy this exact background. But yeah, I try to not use that. Try to create something or find something more original when you build something from scratch. But let's wait and see what Lovable comes back with. And just like that, we have very beautiful minimalistic font that actually looks great. We have hierarchy here. We have the font that actually the cards that looks something that we actually would like. The, the side much more minimalistic. Obviously, it still lacks the nav bar. And if we add that, we can add some of the animation to the background. It will start look way, be way better. So yeah, let's scroll down and see what kind of graphics can we add here. Um, yeah, so let's start by adding the actual depth to the website, which the best way to do that is adding this video to the background. So what I can do is just think about how this video is made. It's probably not like kind of just a video, it's some script, which would be hard to to take and you don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is just use opacity here and I'm going to put to zero so we don't really have the logo and I'm just going to record the screen I'm just going to record the video and upload it to my website again not recommended if you put it into production but in our case since I'm just demoing it I wanted to show you uh, oops so the video is removed you gotta be careful from that luckily it's not removing actually anything from original website it's just doing on local so I can do that and have no problem Let's do the same thing here. I can just remove it, move the mouse to the center, uh, click record screen here to this thing like this. Maybe just do like this. A little bit down and let's go to settings here. Do not record the microphone. Go to settings, click uh, show cursor. No, we don't need to show cursor. And now I could just basically move around and make some looped animation like that. I can maybe move it to the sides as well to make it more beautiful, maybe move like that. And also I wanted to kind of hide it. So we have loop. Oh yeah, maybe something like that. So let's see the beginning. We have the beginning, which is from that side. And we can have it finish looping right here. We can see that it's barely, barely noticeable. So we can trim and convert here. And let's click replace the video. Let's now click OK. And I'm going to go to cloudinary.com. Oh, not cloudinary, cloud for layer. This is the website where you can actually upload the video. Once you're logged in, you can click on the videos here, media, stream. Once I'm here, I can click recent and get to the videos. And once I'm here, I'm just going to drag this video here. And then once it's done, there is a simple prompt that I will sh I show you. So the prompt says add the video to the background. Let me just copy the link here. Once I'm here, I can just click this one and copy that. Go back to lovable and just paste the link here. And let's just send it over and see what it creates. So the, the, the prompt says basically add a video here to the background with Cloudflare HLS using something. You can um, take a screenshot, use ChatGPT to text, whatever, to bring it over to your text. And let's see what it comes back with. And here is the result that Lovable created like 10 seconds later. I refreshed it. And where is the video? Let me refresh one more time. Maybe Lovable just lagging a little bit today. It said it added it. Oh yeah, here it is. So we have this beautiful animation in the background that is kind of going over. And also let's add a nav bar. So for that, I'm just going to go here to the 21st Dev, um, a very cool website. I actually met a founder of this website and he's a really cool dude. So let's just type nav here navigation menu and here let's just take doesn't really matter which one let's just take this one and I can just whatever share component open the component oh yeah I have to scroll so let's just take this one let's open the component I hope I don't have to register uh, how to toggle code just like that
Uh, I'm not sure. I think, yeah, you get the point. You can just copy anything from that. And yeah, so that's how you find the video. The, the other way to find a video is use Framer Marketplace. So Framer Marketplace has a lot of basically unlicensed videos. Framer Marketplace. What it means that the video that I just downloaded, you wouldn't be able to use it on an actual website because this is like a licensed thing. You would get some legal issues. But if you go to Framer Marketplace, a lot of these videos are just like stock videos that the author of that template just downloaded somewhere. So if you use it and if you find this video, for example, you can take a screenshot and just find it and download it. This is a great way to enhance your website like tenfold just by like getting this video. Let's let's actually try to find this video. So I'm going to take a screenshot. If you want to be too holy, you can find it. If you don't want to be too holy, don't do anything. Google com images and let's just find the picture here. And here's this image. By the way, if you want to learn more of this, I just recorded a free course that you can get access to in the link down in the description. And yeah, you'll learn all of this process. You'll learn how to build the beautiful sites, full course. And yeah, just click the link down in the description and go there. So yeah, the the second the third step is to would be to actually improve the website, how it's look like in terms of hierarchy, in terms of adding some more interesting elements to the design. As you can see, like this website is looking very good in terms of how it's how it has some different sections, different sizes. So what I can do is do the same thing. I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm going to say make cards this way. Just take a screenshot of the card that you like and click. And maybe I can find something with the icon instead. That would be a little bit better. Um, nothing here with icons. But what I can do is go to a second page. I think they have a product page. Yeah. They, oh, yeah. Here here they have actual video. But it actually stands for something. Yeah. So, like, you can find a card. I don't know. Maybe you go to the download page. Just look for cards that you like. Let's say we have this card. And I can take a screenshot of this card as well. And I'm going to say, make hearts this way, uh, like second card, but no links, just text that we have and minimum stick icons exactly as screenshot. And let's just select this card and send it over and see what it comes back with. And here's the update looks much more better initially. Obviously, we can specify the colors to make the exact colors you would just make a screenshot of this and go to figma then create another rectangle create the color first color then the second color so you would say to maybe it's actually the same color let me take a screenshot as well here to compare now i think that they're different so let's say here is or i don't even need to say i can just select it and to save credits i can actually edit it by myself so let's say this is the color of the background I would just copy this and I would go to background color custom and here we have that's just like that we can easily update it let's do the same thing with this color with the icon color so let's copy that and let's um okay we have to save this first let's again select our thing now and now we can do the background color as well and just like that update it save it not sure why it's not updating though let's go back to figma and let's see if this is the right color maybe we should make it a little bit bluish more make sure that everything is the right way oh well, let's do it again yeah, for some reason, it's just not updating that. So we can do it manually. We can ask Global to update that. But the other thing that I wanted to mention is how to actually take... Yeah, actually update. It just took a little longer. So like, let's say the, the pricing card. I don't really like that. So what I can do is go to pricing here and see how they did it. They don't really... I don't really like either. So we can keep this this way. But you can do that with any section. Add like add a nav bar island style. And it will actually add that. Uh, if you wanted to fix like this thing, you could go to the contact page and you would want to see how they did it and then just 
let's say use cases. You see, there is a lot of different components that you can add to your website just based on that. And yeah, just like that, you can create a beautiful website, but let's see what it creates with the navbar. And here we have our beautiful island navigation. And now let's compare to the first version that we had initially. So this is how it actually looked before. As you can see, the pricing is very bad. This section is pretty wacky. And this is how it looks right now. Basically, as you can see, the difference is day and night. Just like this, that's how you improve the websites. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.